Hello my friends, welcome to Prime Strings. I'm Henriette and today is day 27 of the Virtual Violin Practice Play Along. Thanks for popping by. Today we're going to be playing our Violin with No Hands exercise. Then we're going to practice our position changing. We're going to practice our string crossing. We're going to practice our A major and minor scales. And finally, we're going to have a go at improvising in major and minor cues. So it's so good to see you here. Let's get all your things together and let's go and get started. <laughs> Tuning up, let's uh, play the A string. Practice the strings two and two together. Here is A and E. to hold the violin with no hands. So as before you have this little button here, stick it into your neck, into that dent there and then slide the violin over your collarbone to your left hand side so that this corner here of your jaw is over the chin rest. Make it a comfortable fit and then when you're ready and safe, let's count to ten shall we? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Awesome. Very, very good. And you may already notice that that is putting less strain on your neck now because your neck muscles are getting a little bit stronger. Let's try that again, holding it for 10. Set it securely onto your shoulder. And when you're ready, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Perfect. Now then, we'll do another exercise now. We did this last time, didn't we? Left hand on right shoulder, right hand on left shoulder. Can you still hold it like that? Awesome. Can you touch both hands in front? Can you touch both hands behind your back? Lovely. By all means, reset it if you feel the need to. Can you put both hands on your head? And can you touch touch both your knees. Now when you can do all that you're very very accomplished in holding a violin so let's pick up the bow. We are going to go and 
work on the squeezing again today. So let's find your correct bow hold and just practice a couple of squeezes for me so that your hand is refreshed in what it's going to do. And now what I'd like you to do is we're going to play some dotted rhythms. I want you to start just below the middle with a martelet type bow stroke and I'm counting to three. One, two, three. down bow, then another down bow, one, two, three, up bow, then another up bow. Here we go. Just on an open D string, we're using about three quarters of the bow from about here to the balance point, who knows. And two, three, squeeze. do some left hand practice now and we're going to be doing our position changing. We're still on the A string as we were before and you remember that last time we were thinking about the left thumb and the left thumb stays there until the third position and from the fourth position onwards it is going to spiral round the neck of the violin until it fits into that corner. If you want to then go any higher, you bring your elbow even further round so that you've got no that you've got a nice gap here in between your hand and the violin. So you're not bashing into the violin here, but your hand instead is up and over that corner of the violin there. So that is what we're after. So let's practice our swinging. There we go, make it nice and relaxed again. Remember, when we're sliding, we're going to move our elbow out and then swing it under. And then we're pushing it further under before we then swing it back. So here we go on B. And... is getting much smoother now. We've practiced it five days in a row and that is really going to enhance your violin playing. So I'm so pleased you're still sticking with this course and you're still playing along with me. Thank you so much for putting your faith in me and you see it is working. It's getting much easier than before. Now if you find this still very tricky, please don't worry because it is very tricky, you might first Practice where you're going, so by playing a B minor scale. So your shifting is going to sound like this. Shall we all play it one more time? Use your elbow, and here we go. And Good warm up, well done, very nice. Okay, 
let's put your violin and your bow down now and we are going to be thinking about our wrist circles again so if you can perhaps hold your arm flat and your hand flat and your fingers flat as well then put your finger underneath your wrist so you can really feel where it is going to drop down like that so let it just flop down but at the same time you want to see if you can keep your forearm flat you so horizontal okay lift your hand up again so that it is all flat and then drop your hand again from your wrist that's it let's do that a couple of times drop it drop it now can you just check for me that your shoulder is not up but that your shoulder is in its lowest position so here we go again flat and drop your hand flat and drop your hand great now lift your hand all the way up there we go and again see if you can keep your forearm horizontal so here now lift your hand up and bring it flat again and up and flat one more time up and flat and this time we're going to turn right first now let's go up turn left let's go down and so on and we're going to turn this into anti-clockwise circles there we go it's really hard work for a wrist to do it like that let's go clockwise and go anti-clockwise again super now anti-clockwise is what we're going to do today so let's pick up your violin and your bow and let's just have the bow in your proper bow hold and let's just practice how you do anti-clockwise circles it's not so easy that let's go clockwise this time there and you can perhaps let me know in the comment section down below this video which one is easier for you is it clockwise turning is easier or are the anti-clockwise circles a little bit easier i think each person has their own personal preference there you go today we're going to start on the e string and we're going to play a down bow on the e string and now i want you to lift your hand up let's do these anti-clockwise circles so we're going to start down bow on the E string go very slowly up bow on the A string down bow on the E string up bow on the A string down bow about extra noises that you get from other strings and also don't be fussed about not being flat on the string because this is a very intricate movement these anti-clockwise circles and we're just interested today in how the circles might work for us okay so this is not fine-tuning it at all it's just finding out the direction so shall we practice it again down bow on the E string up bow on the A string. Okay, so anti-clockwise, I think for most people, is a lot harder than clockwise. But you can tell me otherwise if that is not the case for you. All right, let's now play our A major scale. And we're playing our A major scale twice with long bows, really working on the straight bowing and really working also on placing the weight of your whole shoulder and your arm into the string. So we're aiming for that real full sound. Here we go. And...
Now let's play the A minor scale. And the A minor scale has a C natural. And then F natural. G sharp. So we've got that massive space. F natural, G sharp. Okay. So here we go. Two times each note with long heavy bows. Are you standing with your left foot forward? And are you really bouncy in your legs? Okay, that adds to the full bodiness of the sound. And... playing very nice so we're using these two scales the A major scale and the A minor scale in our improvisation now and as we've seen before there are a couple of notes that where it is very easy to shift between the major and the minor and you've perhaps guessed already which notes they are there are the C natural and the C sharp and there are the F sharp and the F natural and the G sharp is the same in both major and minor scales, okay? So it's just first finger here, high or low, second finger on the A string, high or low. So we're going to do our improvisation in longer stretches again. I'm going to improvise a little bit for you and you can use that as an example if you like and play something similar or you can copy me if you find that easier. And I will start off in major and then change to the minor key. So perhaps you can follow first and see if you can work out what happens in the music. So I'm starting in major, then going to minor. partly or completely play what I just played or make up your own tune. I'll give you lots of time. Now, if you need more time than this, that's absolutely fine. Just pause the video, play whatever you want to play and then come back in again. Or if you feel like that's been enough, I've had my go, then we'll have a go at the next one. So this time I'm going to start in the minor key and then I'm going to play a section in A major. <laughs> Go. 
And again, if you need more time, by all means, pause the video and finish what you were doing. But you've noticed perhaps now that when I change from minor to major and the other way around as well, it works slightly better if I come back to that A first because that was a very odd and sudden change. I don't know if you can remember what I did. But this time we'll do another one and I'll come back to the A. So see if you like this one better. Well done. And all that time you are gaining in experience, just trying out things and you will find out some things work better than others. And in a way, I always think it's a good thing if it doesn't work out because it's quite good to explore where you really shouldn't go. So let's have a go at one more improvisation and let's see if we can make it work this time. I'm going to play minor first and then major. <laughs> very nice very nice so that was a really good go you remember how we started almost four weeks ago now and we were just practicing open strings remember we were just going... and I'm super impressed at how far you've been able to follow this series Honestly, it's been a world of difference since we started off with our improvisations, isn't it? Now, I think the lockdown is going to continue for a little while longer here in the UK. Uh, and uh, for now, I think uh, we can carry on practicing our improvisation. So come and join me again in day 28, because I very much look forward to seeing you then. Goodbye. Mm -hmm.